Learn Python with Minecraft. Hello, nice to meet you again. Today I'm outside my house. We're in the forest today to try to find fresh air. And it's very good, you know, it's so awesome. It smells so good. You smell like tree, you smell um, soy here. Wow, it's so nice, it's so refreshing. Let's talk about our lesson. Hey, we know a lot about Python. And, you know, we know now if we want to show something on the screen, what are we going to use? Print function. Let's say if you want to say hello Python on the screen. So you say print hello Python. And what if you want to say hello Python, hello Python. So you say print hello python and then enter and say print hello python what if you want to say hello python 10 times you're going to do on your screen so we're going to write down print hello python 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 for 10 times right yeah that's so okay yeah we can do that what if we want to print hello python like 100 times so what we're going to do is we're going to type print hello python print hello python print hello python print hello python for 100 times so pretty tired isn't it it's not only you going to be tired you know your computer will be tired too why because the way the computer work you know, when the computer see your command in the list, computer going to look at your command, read your command, run to tell CPU what to do. So when computer say, print hello Python, computer will run to the CPU and say, okay, we're going to print hello Python on the screen. And then the print hello Python on the screen. And what else? Computer will run back to your command list and see what next. Then it say, oh, print hello Python on your screen. Then computer going to run back to CPU and tell CPU, okay, next command is print hello Python on your screen. Then it print hello Python on the screen. And then run back to your command list and see what we're going to do next if you print hello python 100 times what will happen your computer have to run back and forward back and forward from your command to save you so it will be really tired isn't it then what we can do we can do this we can tell your computer one command and then repeat that command yes exactly you can you can just say print hello python one line and tell your computer to do it 100 times and we call it loop today we're going to see how the loop work let's go loops Learning objectives. One, students can identify loops. Two, students can create expressions using a for loop. Three, students can create expressions using a while loop. Keywords, loop, for loop, while loop. Equipment, pen and paper, a laptop or a tablet. What are loops? Loops. Loops can execute a block of code a set number of times until a certain condition is met. Example, brushing your teeth. You know, loop is everywhere. Even in our daily life, when you brush your teeth, you follow the same step over and over again until you're done with your teeth. 
the same thing happened to computer. Computer had to know the step of doing things first. And you as a programmer had to tell the computer how many times that the computer had to repeat those steps. Or when the computer can stop repeating those steps. Please watch the demonstration video. Let's say if you work for Deli Queen and your job is putting ice cream into ice cream cone. So what you're going to do is taking a waffle cone out, put it under ice cream machine, then press a button on the ice cream machine to start. Wait until the cone full with ice cream, then press the button to stop. Bring it to your customer. All day long, you will repeat the same steps that will call loop, which computer have that kind of working statement too. So you can write a program to tell a robot to do that for you. In the term of programming, if we know we're going to use it again, we will write it down in a block of program and repeat using it. Let's say if I have 100 ice cream corn in a row, no problem, I can repeat that block 100 times. And I can program the robot to do that for me using Python. Let's see how. First, a programmer will write a block of ice cream cone making steps as we talked earlier and put it under loop controller statement. There are different kind of loops, but all loops have one thing in common. Stopping condition, the loop will continue to run until the condition is reached. Just like we make a hundred of ice cream cones, or the condition can be when we run out of dirt cones. This will be two kinds of different looping syntax we will learn. Activity 1. How does a machine work? A donut making robot. A factory has to make 40,000 donuts every day for coffee shops in Kentucky. This factory uses a robot to make donuts. Every morning, a worker will clean everything and put secret ingredients in a batter pot at the start of the product line. Then, turn the robot on. The robot is preset to make 40,000 donuts, then it will stop. The robot will put batter in 100 molds, then dip them into a frying pan. When all the donut batter cooks, the robot will take them out of the pan and put them on the line for decoration, then count them in groups of 100 and put each group in boxes. Then the robot will move back to the beginning of the product line and start working all over again. 